What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Kansas City Chiefs versus Baltimore Ravens. Week 1 NFL matchup going down Thursday, September 5th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens and two of the premier teams in the, not just the AFC but in the NFL as well. Kansas City Chiefs, your defending Super Bowl champions, taking out the San Francisco 49ers in overtime 25-22 after going 11-6 and last year. The Chiefs knocked off you know, the, uh, the, the Miami Dolphins in the wild card round, the Buffalo Bills, and the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC title game before the, taking out the Niners. Well, you know, the, the Ravens were the top seed in the AFC. They went 13-4 and four last year, you know, uh, beat Houston before falling short against uh, Kansas City. And the thing for me with, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, this is going to be a great quarterback matchup in this game. Um, but, you know, the Baltimore Ravens, they got a big weapon for their offense in bringing in Derrick Henry. And this is, you know, a Baltimore Ravens team. We can pick apart, you know, certain parts of this team. You know, they don't necessarily have the most star-studded, you know, uh, receiving core. They do have Zay Flowers, who had he was a bit of a revelation for this team. You know, Nelson Aguilar, Rashad Bateman. We'll have to see if those guys can, you know, help out in the receiving core as well. They got Mark Andrews, a tight end. And this is still going to be a really solid Baltimore Ravens defense. You know, you've got Roquan Smith at linebacker. You got a great secondary for the Ravens as well. And they're well coached with Coach Harbaugh. So this is this Ravens team won't surprise anyone if, if they finish as the number one seed again. Absolutely not. On the other side, you've got the Kansas City Chiefs, where we know what this team is. It's Patrick Mahomes and company, and Isaiah Pacheco's back. Samaj P. Ryan is supposed to, you know, be a key piece of this uh, of this rotation. And for me, this is one of the better receiving cores that that Mahomes has had in some time with Rasheed Rice. Hollywood Brown's going to be out for the foreseeable future, but now you have a reunion with Juju Smith-Schuster. Xavier Worthy is going to be a solid piece. Sky Moore is a guy that I'm high on, and Travis Kelsey. And this is still a really good Chiefs defense as well. Chris Jones up front, a great secondary. But the thing that stands out for me, Patrick Mahomes has had a ton of success in his career against the Baltimore Ravens, and not just in terms of you know putting up you know victories, but you know he's averaged over 350 passing yards per game in each you know in his career against the Baltimore Ravens. He put up 343, 385, 374, and 377 in four career games against the Baltimore Ravens. So I think he's going to be able to do some damage here. We know Patrick Mahomes in prime time is going to show up. On the other side, you got Lamar Jackson. Like I said, Derrick Henry's going to add another dimension to this offense. And while sometimes you can talk about well, you know the championship raising ceremony. There could be a hangover and all this this narrative stuff. For me, it's you look at the fact that, you know, Patrick Mahomes, whenever he takes on the Baltimore Ravens, we see points. We've seen totals of 51, uh, 61, 54, and 71 in uh, Mahomes for regular season meetings in his career against the Ravens. I think that 17-10 game in the playoffs was just playoff football at its finest. I think this is going to be a more wide open game. I think there's going to be a lot of offense scored in this one for a game that's only at 47, or for a Lions game that's only at 47 points. I think it's too low here. I'm going to go with the over here. I think we see some fireworks on opening night. That line to me feels pretty close to being dead on. I mean, I, th I have this as a field goal game either way, so we'll have to see how that line kind of moves. But for me right now, I think the over is the way to go here. I'm going to take the over 47, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.